Hey, it's Y Hi. I'm going to cover a couple things on the Tango 2. Um, how to do firmware updates. We're going to go up to the latest 6.10. It's got a new bypass uh, mixer mode. We're going to check that out. Uh, also, we're going to look at uh, what to do when a firmware update goes wrong. Ooh. Uh, we're going to look at how to unbrick your Tango 2 if you ever do brick it. Like if a firmware update goes bad. <laughs> and uh, we're going to show you how to calibrate your uh, sticks because after this new bypass, you're going to have to recalibrate the sticks. So let me show you how to do that too. You guys just let me know if you ever need help. I'm always happy to help teach and show the way. And I love my TBS stuff. I always get all the newest gear. Let me know if you need anything at all www.flyhighfpv.com Hey guys, it's Fly High. Uh, Team Black Sheep has a new update for uh, the Tango 2 and for the TBS Mambo that reduces the latency of the internal radios. So if you're flying Crossfire on the Tango 2 or you're flying Tracer on the Mambo, then this is going to save even more time on your control link. So this is a good thing. Uh, I want to try it out, so I'm going to go ahead and run through the update, and I'm going to teach you guys how to do it in the process, and how to do it as painlessly as possible. Um, you see, I got three quads sitting right here that are all set up on Crossfire. Uh, two of them are nano receivers, and one is a Crossfire 69. Um, so before we do the update, one tip, the one thing that I always recommend before you go updating your radio is to flash all of these receivers back to factory, which will put them back into binding mode so that after I do this update, if I've lost all my binds, then they're all sitting there ready to go and eager to just get bound right back up. So the first thing you do is you fire up your transmitter. Everything's running smoothly. Acro mode, landing. And then we're going to plug in the quad. If I can do this with one hand. Okay, so she's fired up, and then we're going to go into the crossfire menu, and for me, let's see if I can get this focus. This is going to be TBS Agent Light. I highly recommend Agent Light instead of the old Lewis grip. It's a nice little upgrade. Uh, but there you can see the nano receiver is listed. We go down to nano, and we're going to general, and we're going to reset this thing to factory. Are you sure? Yep. Yep. That just sends it back to factory so that the quad will be released. And then after the update, this quad will be uh, ready to bind. So that one's done. Exit out of that. Let's do another one. I, like I said, I just got three quads to do here. So we're plugged in, we're going to go back into Agent Light. So quad number two is a 69, and we're going to do the same thing. We're going straight into the TBS Agent Light, and we're going to go to 69. And we want to go down to General, and a Factory Reset. Confirmed. All right, that one's done. You can tell that these quads are ready for binding because my light is now yellow on the Tango 2 and the nano receiver is blinking green. That blinking green means I am ready to bind. So the quads are all ready to go. We've done our homework and backed this thing up. Let's, uh, let's go over to the PC next. First things first, get TBS agent open and update. It should be checking for updates and you want to go ahead and get it up to date because they are constantly improving things. That's one of the great things about Team Black Sheep is they don't just sit on their asses for years and do nothing. They are improving things all the time. So we're up to date here. All right, so we got Agent X here. And if you go check, I'm on the current version. 
hit update. There are no updates. We're on the latest version already. So we are good to go. Um, next thing we want to do is plug in our Tango 2 and back it up. Next thing we're going to do is power up our Tango 2. What we're going to do is power up the Tango 2. Good evening, Dave. Everything's running smoothly. Acro mode. Landing. And we're going to plug it into USB. Into my PC. And on here, we're going to select the SD storage. Yeah, I know it's hard to read, but it says storage SD. Now on the PC, two windows are going to pop up. The first one is this firmware folder. Don't touch this. Just close that folder. We're not messing with that. The second is your SD card contents. See the models, sounds, all this stuff. Um, this is going to contain the sound packs, your models, all the things that you're connected to, all your settings. You want to back this all up. So just copy it all. Copy it. And save it somewhere with an appropriate label. There it is, pre 6.9. There it is. So then, once you've got it all pasted in, you've got a copy of it, then you can go ahead and move forward with the update. So we turn this radio on. And this time, we're going to tell it we want to go to Agent X. So there's. Can you read that? Shit. There it is. So when you fire it up this time, we're going to the agent because we're going to take a firmware update from the agent. All right, so we're set to the agent and now we see our little pips light up here showing that we are in fact connected. The Wi-Fi is not an issue here. We're just going to go right past that. We're going to go check out the Tango Crossfire. This is where the update is. You see I've got 6.09 was the latest. And now we've got 6.1. So we're going to go to firmware. And there it is, 6.10. Uh, before you ever take one of these updates, you should read the release notes. So this is a bypass of the OpenTX mixer. This is how this thing works. It skips the OpenTX mixer, which is going to make things a little different on your radio. You've been using the OpenTX mixer up to this point. I'm okay with that. I'm going to see how it works, and it is promising to take a whole second, millisecond of latency away, uh, and I want to see what kind of gains there are, if I can feel it or not. Uh, the rest of this stuff, Team Race, nobody's using that. Mavlink, there's like three guys using that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, more resilient update protocol, that's good. Fixes for diversity, yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. I think we're good to go. Let's take the update. So all we got to do is hit update over here and update right there and then wait for it. Be patient because you don't want to uh, interrupt these updates while you're doing a firmware flash and the radio now has a big arrow showing us that we're updating and then we just wait. Uh, one thing I try to be careful of is the next step here is when it finishes, it's going to restart the device. I always try to stick around so that when it does reset, I'm right here and I can put it right back into agent mode and let it finish checking the subsystems and verifying and yeah, it helps ensure that you get a nice clean update. But yeah, now we just wait and be patient for the blessings that TBS is giving us. Thank you, Trappy. We really, really, really appreciate you, brother. Seriously, can't say how good it is to just constantly get better and better controllers and we don't even have to spend more money on it. He just gives us these updates for free. All right, should be restarting. Everything's running smoothly. Let's go back into the agent. And now it's going to finish. Uh, while we're waiting, it's worth noting that I backed up my SD card contents before this, but there is not a change in the SD card contents on this update. Uh, if you're on an old version, say you're still on a 4 version, then you very likely do need to update the SD card contents. Still, you back it up just like I did, 
and then you pull the SD card contents from the patch notes and, and replace the SD card contents that are on your machine. Um, so if you've got a sound pack or anything like that, you're going to want to reintegrate those, your models, that kind of stuff. You can just reintegrate them and then do the update. But you definitely need to do the SD cards first before you do any kind of updating because it does impact the update process and the updates do change the contents of the SD card sometimes. So if you have to go back and do it later, then you're going to have to re-update again after changing the SD card contents. And that's just a pain. Much rather just do everything on the SD card first and then run your updates simply. Uh, this is a pretty easy process. All you have to do is wait for it to tick away. Hundred percent. Let's verify it. See if we got it right. Patience. <laughs> nope, not ready yet. Still waiting. Is it finished? 100%? Trying again. Wait some more. Okay, almost finished with the third time we're updating the subsystems. Is it going to go all the way through? Come on, baby. Verified. Yes. All right. So that is complete. Everything's running smooth. We reboot it again. Let's go right back to agent mode. And let's check everything else. So we've got the crossfire is up on 6.10 now. Uh, I don't think there's an update here for Freedom TX, but let's just go ahead and check and make sure. Again, I keep my radio up to date. But look, there is a new version. Let's check those patch notes. Uh, USB detection inconsistency fix. Let's go ahead and get that too. So we're going to update it and here we go. I'll be back. This is going to take a minute. And she seems to be stuck on 1%. It's been here for almost two minutes. But I'm going to be patient. I'm waiting. This is doing a firmware update. I do not want to interrupt it. So I'm just going to sit back, be patient, and wait. So I waited 20 minutes, sat on 1%, and it never moved. At that point, I unplugged the connection, and... Uh, now my Tango 2 doesn't want to turn on. Every now and then I'll get one little green flash of light out of it.
So it would appear my Tango 2 is bricked, right? Whatever will I do? Oh no! I need to fly every day. What will I do with no Tango 2, right? It's dead. Oh, I saw a green flash. Did you see it? There's still some life left in you, baby, I promise. So what we need to do is we need to get into bootloader mode. And the way you do that is back here with these two little buttons. This one over here, this and is for Freedom TX. And this one is for Crossfire. I need to go into Freedom TX because that Freedom TX firmware is the one that fucked up on me. So what I'm going to do is hold that button down and plug in the USB. And this is... This is going to be a challenge with, hang on, how can I do this? Stay. Oh, I heard it. And you got to have Agent X open when you do this. And then when I let go of the button, look, look at that. Bootloader mode. <laughs> this bitch ain't dead. So we're just going to go right back into firmware and we're going to try and push that up, that firmware again. We're going to go right back and try to do it 1.3 again. So we're going to update it. And let's hope it gets further than 1% this time. Oh, we're in 1%. Yes, 3%. Yes. Okay, we're going to be good. Hope we didn't lose anybody when the fucking firmware hung up. Oh, <laughs> uh, thank you, Trappy, for including a bootloader mode to get us out of the situation. Yeah. Do, 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 do. Ah, uh, she's back to life again. But she's not in USB mode. I've got to restarting and never got the chance to go to agent. So I'm going to unplug it here. Plug it back in. And that way I get that dialog because I want to put it in agent mode. Boom. Now it's in agent mode and it should be able to finish updating subsystems. Hopefully we'll get a good clean flash this time. Verified. That looks good. 100%. Everything looks good over here. So I always like to reboot it after I do something like that. Good evening, Dave. Everything's running smoothly. Yeah, good. Good. Okay. There's no throttle, so now we got to figure out how to recalibrate the sticks. So we're going to long press, and then let's see if I can get to where you can see the screens. So I long press the menu button, and then we're going to tab through the screens. Because none of my sticks are going to work right now, and we want to do a stick calibrations right here on page 5 of 6. Let's see if you can read it, maybe. It says calibration there on the right. So I'm going to do one hand at a time since I'm uh, holding a camera. And I'm going to show you how to do this. And the trick is be super, super gentle on the sticks when you do this. I like to do like just a feather touch, just barely touch the edges. Don't push hard on them. But just be super, super gentle. And these positions top and down, down in particular, this is the most important one to be gentle with. I'll put it there and just kind of let it go. But don't push down on it. All right, here we go. Stick calibration. Let's see if I can do this. We'll just do left side. Three, two, Center. one. Three, right. two, one. Gentle. Three, two, Gentle. one. Three, Gentle. two, one. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. 
Whoops, didn't mean to slam it that hard. Okay, that fails good. Lines up good. Now we need to do the right stick. Right stick's dead. Again, I can normally do this at the same time, like just bang them out. I usually do one hand on each, but uh, I'm not going to try that with the camera. So you get to see it twice. Here we go. Here's stick calibration on the right side. Three, Hold it two, at center. One, three, two, one. Alright, check it. Feels good to me. Alright, so we can exit out of there. So I'm going to plug in this quad. See, I got my blinking green light because I already did a factory reset on my transmitter before I did all this. I mean on my receivers. So she's ready to bind. So over here, we're gonna hold down the menu button. We're gonna go into Crossfire Agent Light. They used to call it Crossfire. The Lua script. So now we're gonna go into the radio and we're gonna go into bind and we are ready to execute. Wish us luck. The light over here immediately changes to red. It knows that things are happening. And we are waiting for the blue light. Do we want to update the micro receiver? Confirmation update needed. Yes, we do. Boom. So now it's going to start updating. We've got updates happening over here. Do not interrupt. This is the important part. Just let it go. Also, make sure you read the messages on the screen. Uh, there's, if you're doing a bind, there's many times I've seen it come up on the screen and say, reload firmware in Agent X. And that's a big indication that your firmware on your transmitter isn't right and you need to go back to Agent X and do it again. The people just keep hitting enter and thinking it's binding and not binding and yeah, you got to read what it's telling you need to do. That's why I love, uh, the, uh, Agent Light app on here it just makes it even easier than the old Lewis scripts used to be but yeah 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 it's binding it's getting there 75 percent Firmware is loading. Don't interrupt. Oop. Zero percent. Zero percent. We got to bind. It's okay. Also, something that people want to do here is hit enter to like go ahead. I don't know why you'd want to just keep binding once after again after again, but don't do that. You just want to exit. Exit out of there. And if you want, now... You can go in and you see you've got your nano receiver listed. Yeah. Next thing I'm going to do is plug in a beta flight and just let's make sure that my sticks are all right since we're bypassing the mixer now. Throttle. Yaw. 
Pitch and roll. Yeah, we're good to go, brothers. Y'all want to fly? My, uh... Quietly step back from the pilot and live to see another day. Battery critical. Low battery. Landing. Angle mode. Acro mode. Hey, if it's not too much to ask. So like those all work. I'm in need of some good electrons. Have, have you seen my baseball? Buzzer works. <laughs> Angle mode. Cheat mode active. Turtle mode works. Angle mode. Acro mode. Alright. Looks like we're golden, boys. Uh, let's check the ranges. I didn't look at that. Oh, I'm back to the default. 988 to 2011. Because I tuned those in my mixer before. Now the last thing I want to do is I want to adjust the endpoints to get it back to 1,000 and 2,000. So I'm going to hit menu and... I am going to page over to outputs and then I'm uh, going to go through each of the outputs and this one is the easiest to set because it is not spring loaded but this is a throttle it's channel 3 it is currently going to 988 and 2011 or 2012 so we got to go in there and change the trims. So I like to do the min first. It's at 988. So we're just going to change the min. It's right at 1,000. And beta flight confirms it's at 1,000. So we're good. That one is at negative 97.8. Put it up to full throttle, and we'll do the same thing. Ninety-seven point eight, and we're gonna do the same thing to all these. Ninety-seven point eight. Seven point eight two thousand one thousand and again Two thousand, one thousand, there, yeah, all good again. Let me know if you guys need help with anything else. Let's bind up a TBS 69. I'll plug this in with one hand. That's mostly in. Uh, TBS 69 back here in the back. It's my VTX and my nano receiver for this quad. Love this little setup. So we're going to go into TBS Agent Light. And we're going to go into the Crossfire. And we're gonna go bind and it's ready execute and that thing's blinking over there this thing's blinking over here it's binding in progress do we want to update the micro receiver yes that's a good sign when you see that blue light it means the up firmware update is gonna happen so we're gonna hit okay and we're just gonna wait for that thing to finish And I want to apologize about the screen. How it looks on video is pretty awful, but I love the screen on the Tango 2. It's small and simple and durable. It won't break on you. 
and you don't have to worry about it and it does what it needs to do and then you put the goggles on it blows my mind that we need giant color screens on these things or touch screens even I'm like dude no I don't no sir I don't need your trims I don't need 12 switches and knobs and dials I keep that simple love my dango too Almost finished though. It's great how it pushes firmware updates. So when I update my radio, it takes these updates and pushes them out to the nano receivers and they get all the latest and greatest every time. Almost done now. Findings okay. Exit. We're good to go. One last thing I wanted to show on here under Agent Light is on the Crossfire 69, you've got VTX control. Uh, you can actually do this through a regular Nano RX and a Smart Audio VTX if you bridge directly onto it, but uh, it's really nice. You can actually just go down here and change your power settings for your VTX or your channel. I like to fly a race 8. Uh, just makes it nice and simple. Uh, I'm used to doing it with uh, Smart Audio, but uh, you don't have to actually set up VTX tables to use this. It just runs directly through TBS and TBS knows what to do with it. But hey, if you need TBS gear, I'm the guy to talk to. FlyHighFPV.com has everything you need to get flying. All the 3D prints custom made for you to your specs for your quad. Um, everything TBS, whether you need Crossfire or you want Tracer, Tango 2 or Mambo, Unify video transmitters, Triumph antennas, uh, anything and everything that they've got, all the goodies, uh, ethics, uh, gem fan, China hobby line, T motor stacks, T motor motors, uh, ethics motors, true RC antennas, man, just everything you could possibly want. I'm even carrying digital, uh, Vista and air unit kits these days, um, frames from Armaton. Uh, Vifly buzzer so you don't lose your quad. Uh, conformal coating so you can get your stuff waterproof and you uh, don't have to worry about water anymore. You can just go wherever you want, whatever you want. Anything you ever need, Fly High FPV is going to have the best thing for it. Hit me up if you need help with anything. We're always happy to help.